Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. ISRO is literally on fire. In the last three consecutive days, we have seen three major achievements by the space agency. On 8th December, ISRO conducted the first blowdown test of newly realized trisonic wind tunnel at Vikram Sarabhai Space Center, Tiruvananthapuram. The wind tunnel will aid in aerodynamic design of rockets and re-entry spacecrafts by characterizing a scaled model by evaluating forces, moments, load distribution, unsteady pressures, acoustic levels, etc. It can simulate flight conditions from 0.2 Mach to Mach 4. On 9th December 2022, ISRO and Headquarters Integrated Defense Staff have jointly conducted hypersonic vehicle trials. As per reports, the trial achieved all required parameters and demonstrated hypersonic vehicle capability. On 10th December, ISRO has conducted the hot test of scramjet engine for 11 seconds. The test was conducted at ISRO's Propulsion Research Complex at Mahendragiri in Tirunelveli district of Tamil Nadu. We have already discussed in detail about the first two updates. So today, we are going to discuss about the recent scramjet engine trial. Now before we move forward, just want to touch base upon the air breathing engine technology for the better clarity of our viewers. Nearly 70% of the propellant, which is combination of fuel and oxidizers carried by today's launch vehicle consists of oxidizers. Therefore, air breathing propulsion technology is being developed, which can utilize the atmospheric oxygen during the flight through the atmosphere and they don't have to carry these oxidizers. This will considerably reduce the total propellant required in a rocket or a missile. There are mainly three types of air breathing technology which are ramjet, scramjet and dual mode ramjet or DMRJ. A ramjet is a form of air breathing jet engine that uses vehicle's forward motion to compress incoming air for combustion without a rotating compressor. Fuel is injected in the combustion chamber where it mixes with hot compressed air and ignites. A ramjet power vehicle requires an assisted takeoff like a rocket assist to accelerate it to a speed where it begins to produce the thrust. Ramjet works most efficiently at supersonic speed around Mach 3 and can operate up to Mach 6. However, the ramjet efficiency starts to drop when the vehicle reaches the hypersonic speeds. The famous Indian supersonic cruise missile BrahMos uses the ramjet technology. A scramjet or supersonic combustion ramjet is a variant of a ramjet air breathing jet engine in which combustion takes place at supersonic airflow. It efficiently operates at hypersonic speeds and allows supersonic combustion. A dual mode ramjet or DMRJ is a type of jet engine where a ramjet transforms into a scramjet when it reaches the higher speed which is between Mach 4 to 8. This gives DMRJ capability to operate efficiently both in subsonic and supersonic combustor modes. Now there are two active scramjet engine programs in India, one by DRDO and another one by ISRO. DRDO is developing HST-DV that is hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle which will be powered by a scramjet engine. This technology will be further used to develop hypersonic cruise missiles. On 7th September 2020, DRDO conducted the trial for HST-DV in which the hypersonic combustion sustained and the cruise vehicle continued on its desired flight path at a velocity of Mach 6 for more than 20 seconds. ISRO has also developed its scramjet engine known as HAVA or hypersonic air breathing vehicle with air integrator system. The scramjet engine is based on kerosene and will be used to develop air breathing powered TBCC based engine which will power the two stage to orbit TSTO reusable launch vehicle of ISRO. Now talking about its milestones, on 28th August 2016, ISRO successfully flight tested its scramjet engine for 5 seconds achieving the flight speed of Mach 6. 
the successful flight demonstration of scamjet mode of propulsion was cost effectively carried out with ATD02 scamjet characterization flight again on 9th december 2022 isro and headquarters integrated defense staff have jointly conducted the hypersonic vehicle trials and achieved all the required parameters and demonstrated hypersonic vehicle capability however the duration of test speed and the range details are not disclosed again on 10th december isro has conducted the hot test of scamjet engine for 11 seconds further plans are there for development of an autonomous vehicle powered by scamjet engine capable of accelerating for a period of 250 seconds this was today's update please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector